Hi, I'm Todd Henderson. Today we're going to show you how to install the Road Armor Vaquero rear bumper on the 2015 to 2017 Chevy 2500 and 3500 trucks. Let's go and get started. Okay, so we've already taken off the factory bumper, um, and in order to do that, we did have to loosen up the bed bolts. Uh, this installation does not require those bed bolts to be loosened up, so you can go ahead and tighten those bed bolts back up. If you want to see how that factory bumper com comes off, we did do a removal video. Feel free to check that out. Um, I did have the, the, the factory uh, sensors pulled out. Uh, I've got those set in place exactly the way and or you know the orientation and order that they came out of the factory bumper. So you want to make sure those go back in the exact same way they came out. Um, I've also uh, on the factory harness I cut off uh, the uh, the tag lights because I've got new tag lights. I went ahead and installed some uh, heat shrink quick disconnects on uh, the uh, the harness as well as my new factory uh, tag lights. So. This is what you're gonna get with the kit. You got your, re your rear bumper brackets. Uh, you've got four tab bolts per side, each with a flat washer, lock washer, and a three quarter inch nut. You're also gonna have a couple of retainer clips for uh, one of each of those uh, uh, tab bolts. You'll have the bumper, uh, and you're gonna have a few extra things like uh, you know, your tag lights. You're gonna have uh, a spot for your trailer hitch receptacle and some additional hardware to fasten all that. So to get started, what I like to do to make this clean and easy is first take and remove the factory harness from the truck. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to remove that factory harness. So we're going to pull this harness to where we can see this red tab. We pull that red tab back. Once that red tab's back, we've got a little black button right here. It's part of the clip. Push in on that black button and then disconnect the harness. Now this whole harness, once we remove uh, all the pieces will come right off of the bumper or right off the back of the truck and we can install it to the bumper. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the tag lights. Um, I've already got the hardware going through the light itself. You want to make sure that the light faces towards the tag. Um, here's my connectors. I'm going to fit through this hole here and then run my hardware through, attach on the opposite side uh, with the nuts. Now that I got both tag lights installed and hooked up to the harness, I'm going to go ahead and move to my sensors. Now, my inside sensors are going to install a little bit differently than my outside sensors. Uh, so I'm going, to, I'm going to start with the inside ones. I'm going to separate those apart. Now, uh, I just want to reiterate, you want to make sure that this is clocked the exact same way that it came out of the factory location. Um, now, you're going to notice in the sensor bracket, there are some grooves that are going to line up to the holes uh, and the grooves and the hole in the bumper. I'm just going to slide that into place and slide it all the way in and let it click. And then we're going to go to the back side, make sure the sensor stays uh, clocked exactly the same way. Now before I slide the sensor in place, I want to make sure that my seal is installed onto the sensor and is clocked the correct direction and I will hear it click in place. Now I'm going to fasten the harness in place and then slide the red clip and I can move to my next sensor. Okay, now I'm going to take the outside sensor. I'm going to pull the sensor bracket off um, and then the sensor bracket is going to slide in just like it did on the other side. And that will clip into place. Uh, you'll notice that this sensor is clocked opposite the last sensor. It kind of faces towards um, the inside sensor. We're also going to bring this around the other side. Now how this sensor is different is I'm actually going to attach it to the harness before I install it to the bracket. So the harness is installed and I'll slide this in and I will hear it click in place. And we're going to repeat the same process on the opposite side. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to fasten the trailer receptacle to the receptacle plate bracket. That's just going to clip right into place uh, with uh, the clips on the receptacle. Then to get it through the hole, what we're going to do is we're going to pull uh, these apart and slide it through the hole. I'm going to use the small screws that are provided with our kit and fasten that all together. A total of four screws and nuts on this bracket. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to attach one of our tab bolts uh, to the bracket on the bumper on each side. Uh, we're going to go to the top hole. Uh, what we're going to do is just slide that tab bolt through. Um, now to keep that in place, what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these um, clips 
and we're going to get it started in place onto the tab bolt. We're going to take a, a deep well socket and force that down onto that clip. That holds that in place so we can line it up to the bumper. And do that on both sides. All right, next what we're going to do is we're going to locate these two holes that are in the, the frame. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to first install a tab bolt to the top bolt or to the top hole. And, uh, and we're going to take our bracket. This is a mirror image bracket um, uh, from the other side. We're going to slide that over top of that tab bolt and then slide on flat washer, lock washer, and three quarter inch nut. And we're gonna put that in uh, finger tight at this time. Now our next tab bolt is gonna go through the bottom hole. So in order to get that through, we're gonna slide that bracket back uh, so they can line up to the hole in the bottom uh, of the bracket. And again, we're gonna use a flat washer, lock washer, and three quarter inch nut. And we're gonna put that in uh, finger tight for right now, and then we're going to adjust that bracket out uh, away from the truck, and then tighten it down uh, just just to snug it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to snug this up. We're going to get it kind of pulled out away from the the truck. And we're going to snug it up a little bit, uh, but not too much because we want to still be able to mallet it around a little bit. This actually does our adjustment in and out on the bumper. Um, and, uh, and so we're going to get both of these set in place, snug, but not totally tightened down. And we're going to repeat the same process on the opposite side. Now I've got a couple of good friends holding the bumper on for me, so uh, we've got it up against the truck. I'm going to take the harness and hook it up to the factory location. Once that's slid in, we also want to slide in that red clip. We also want to make sure the harness material is up above our hitch. Uh, from the truck. Now we can go ahead and slide it in place. Now while he's holding that in place, I'm going to go ahead and attach my flat washer, lock washer, and nut. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side so they can let it go. Now the way I like to adjust these bumpers is actually using a couple of floor jacks. And what I'll do is I'll lift those up into place um, and that actually raises the level of the bumper. Um, and then I can actually adjust the bumper side to side. The way I do that is you use a mallet. I just kind of pound it in place until it's even on both sides. Um, whenever you're adjusting the height of this bumper, you also want to make sure the tailgate is in the down position. That way you know that the bumper isn't high enough to actually contact the tailgate. Because once you lock it down and you drop the tailgate, you don't want the tailgate to touch the bumper because you can scratch the tailgate. Um, once I've got this set side to side and up and down, I'm going to go up underneath um, and tighten it down bumper to the brackets. Um, now once those are tightened down, then I can adjust uh, the depth of the bumper, so in and out of the truck. That is done at the frame. Uh, so there again, I'm just going to use a mallet. I'm going to tap on the bumper to get it in exactly where I want it to go. Once it's there, I'm going to go ahead and use that three quarter inch hardware and tighten the brackets to the frame of the truck. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts. We're here to help you out.